Look at these eggs. Oh my gosh. Hey buddy. You hungry? He fell in. This is absolutely insane. Ow, 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 ow! If we look closely, she's right in there. This film is a little annoying. But guys, there is Mama Cray. Well guys, actually I didn't figure out a good name yet for Mama Crawl. I'm just gonna call her Mama Crawl for now. Guys, in the comments below, continue to shoot me those names. I was not impressed. You guys need to impress me with the names. I have a couple names for the Blue Crawls and stuff like that. But, in the meantime, please name Mama Crawl. So I'm gonna remove her real quick. So you guys can see the status of our crawfish babies. Here we go. Got her out. Ready to let this settle real quick. Hold on one second. Look at these eggs. Oh my gosh. That's absolutely amazing. All right, guys, here you can get a better look at the eggs. If she lets me, she's really finicky with the camera, but they're hanging low. It's only a matter of time until we have a billion crayfish babies, guys. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. Look at those eggs. They're chilling on her swimmerettes. What's cool about today's episode is I'm going to go ahead and show you how to sex your crayfish. Find out if it's a boy or a girl so you can get into the breeding life like I've been getting into. Now, I got lucky to go ahead and catch this one, and if you guys haven't checked out that video, I'm gonna put in the link below, but I'm gonna show you guys how to sex your crayfish. So if you're going to go ahead and buy a crawfish or a crayfish and or caught a crawfish, then you'll be able to go ahead and find out if you got a boy or a girl. Let's take a moment and just look at a beautiful woman crayfish right here, Mama Cray. Wow. Now, to go ahead and look at our other crawfish. Here's an update. If you guys haven't seen Zach's video, Catch Him On Fishing's video, we caught some giants. And on top of that, we have another blue. I think this one's the one we caught, and that's the one we caught with Zach. So I have a crawfish topia right now. It's crazy. So in his video, I mentioned that I was gonna be moving the smaller ones out to like a holding tank, or just move them out, and they're actually gonna be fed to Ninja. So before we do any of that, we're gonna go ahead and sex every single crawfish, guys. So bear with me as I catch them all. Like what I did there? All right, so I'm gonna put them right here. So I'm gonna catch as many as I can. And we're gonna sex each and every one of them. Let's get this little one first. Whoa, whoa, relax. All right, we got one. Be free. All right, guys, I got them all out. There are so many Crawfish, there's some giants in here, giants. Time to sex our crawfish. Here's everybody, you got the blue ones here, the giant ones, look at the size of those claws. Big ones all around. Now, the claws are definitely a sign about male, female, in regards to that, but there's also a specific way to check, okay? So we're gonna go with the small one first, right here, okay? So she has small claws, and here's how we check. We check with the swimmerettes on the tail. So if it's a male, the swimmerettes will be hardened. And if it's a female, they're not. And she's supposed to have a hole here. She should have a hole like right in the middle, right there. So I believe this is a female. Yep, 100% female. She doesn't have the extra swimmerettes because the males have the extra swimmerettes that are hardened. In the middle of the abdomen right there is where the eggs will be held. So yep, that's a female. That is a female. All right, so I'm gonna grab, try to grab the blue one first. Let go, let go. All right, so we have the blue one. Now I'm gonna secure the claws. So after securing the claws, this is how we can check and this is a for sure male blue crawfish, guys. So look at those appendages here. He's giving me a hard time, he's trying to get out. But those right there, Stop showing your tail. All right, I'm gonna let him relax for a second. I'm gonna grab him again. I'm gonna, ow, 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 ow! He got me. That sucks. Relax, bro. I got you. He's giving me such a hard time. So here we go. My fingers hurt a lot, but those are the extra swimmerettes, the extra appendages right there. So this is a male blue crawfish. All right, now for the other blue one. Hey, let go, let go, let go, be nice. You can't run away, you can't run away. Whoa, ah. Oh my gosh, the big one almost got me. So, this one's the one that Zach got. 
relax relax moment of truth guys let's go ahead and see it put it over here focus <gasps> no way oh my come on i'm trying to get excited with you guys guys look does not have the swimmerettes guys this is a hundred percent a female blue craw relax look at this oh my goodness gracious this is absolutely insane. Look, he even has like this weird red tint to him. It's like purplish. That's insane. Guys, guys! You're gonna potentially have blue crawfish babies. Go ahead, on your way in. Now make me some babies. All right, let's check the rest. Without getting pinched. Let's get the big ones out of the way because those claws are huge. All right, all right, guy, I get it, I get it. You're huge. You're powerful. Relax. Dude, all right. So we just got to go ahead and secure it. One, two, a three. Relax. Grab this if you want. So you can distract them by having them pinch on something else. And then there are the claws. And this is a monster focus camera. Monster male. They're the swimmerettes. There's everything. For sure, 100% male. The big boys. Get back in there. Let's grab the other big one, turn them upside down. He's actually starting to, yeah, that's a male as well, based on the patterns I already see, the extra swimmerettes. So like I was saying guys, if you guys wanna go ahead and double check, always check the bottom. Grab the claw, secure the claw so you don't get pinched. That's a male. Look at the extra swimmerettes. You can also tell by the big claws too, but for sure you can really check by the bottom. That's a male. All right, let's double check. For sure male, be free. Uh, let's check out the one clawed one. That one claw is serious. Now, it's a little bit of a stockier claw. And I think this is a female. And I am right, guys. There is the actual indicator that's a female. Okay, that's where she'll hold her eggs right there. And then she'll go ahead and hold them on the swimmerettes. So that's a female. Maybe we get lucky and uh, they breed in there. Go ahead. There's water everywhere. It was hard to get them out, as you saw before. I believe this is a big female as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're good. We're good. We're good to get all the way around. We're good. I'm going to grab you now. Oh, yeah. 100%. So you guys can see, like, those swimmerettes and the males are hardened. And here's where she can hold her eggs right there, guys. So that's a big female. And we'll definitely have babies in the future with either the big males or hopefully the blue crow. Be free. So we look right here and see what happens. Female again. Let's check right here. See what happens. Female again. So we have females, guys. So that's very exciting. I'm going to go ahead and bet that this one's a male based on how long his claws are. Oh, and I'm right. So the claws are an indicator, like I said, and the appendages right here. You see that? The swimmerettes. Hardened swimmerettes. 100% male. And then, um, I think this one's a male as well, this little guy. Hey. Oh, yeah. Male 100%. And as you can see, again, the little claws. Here, take a look, guys. 100% female. So we have females on females on females. So like I was saying, these were the smaller ones of the group. I don't want to always sacrifice the females because I need breeders, but I have two big breeders in there. This guy for sure is a male. I don't need an extra male, so... We're gonna go ahead and and see what happens. Let's go ahead and feed this one to Ninja. Hey, buddy, you hungry? You hungry? Are you hungry? Oh, he fell in. Did he eat? It? Oh, gone. Toast. Just the claws remaining. Where the claws were remaining. That's my boy, Ninja. Savage. Didn't have a chance to like set myself up, dude. Oh, you hear the crushers? He's crushing it. Oh my goodness. He's crushing that crayfish down. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy you're eating like this again, dude. That boy is a savage. All right. You know what? I'm curious to see if the new crawls will eat right now. Let's go ahead and check it out. I have Mazagor pellets, the light. This is super, super stinky, super yummy. Use them to feed my catfish and stuff all the time back in the day. But let's see if they eat. I'm gonna drop one of my Mazagor pellets right down. The hash. Doom, 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 doom. Look at all that. You gotta get a whiff. 
I'm gonna drop a couple more, see what happens. I'm gonna drop them right on top of this guy. Will he eat one? Oh yeah, he got that. Alright guys, that's gonna be the episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I got videos coming out in the future that'll be just as far as the ones that you've been seeing lately come out. And while you're at it, go ahead and ding the notification bell for notifications on the channel, guys. And I'll see you in the next live adventure. Booyah.